Okay, welcome back to more Daggerfall Unity. Yay. Now, I've just experienced a recording problem, so some 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 time has been lost. We uh we talked to a perfectly ordinary person in a pub and they said, "Oh, we have a magic amulet, but we don't know what it is." But we're too scared to test it. Do you want to test it? So of course I said, "Well, we're not—we're not scared of anything. We'll test your amulet." And uh, we got teleported into this dungeon, and um, surrounded by ghosts, strange ghosts. Ah, <laughs> that, that have skeletons. I don't remember if we if we had the um, the Daedric Warhammer last time. We're starting to get a few bit, bits of Daedric gear, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. I like the ludicrous red color. How did three? No, oh, okay. Um. So yeah, we have to uh, we have to get out of this dungeon. I wonder if I could just recall out. Oh, that that would surely be cheating. You naughty spider. Where is that irritating skeleton? Because his wailing carries a long way. <laughs> this is very well polished wood. <sighs> Silly doors. Grief. An army of ghosts are trying to kill this spider in a box. I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can kill it. I don't remember closing that door. Anyway. How, how do we get out of this? So those spooky blue eyes are, uh, are quite unsettling. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
With a bit of luck, the exit will be quite close. If we just go up here, yeah. Turn left. And turn left again, there'll be a little door. <laughs> I was hoping that this... That this would be the exit. But according to the map... The green, uh, the green dot is pretty close. Screaming has been annoying me since we first arrived. it is on the, the level below. Okay, so when we were here, what is the orientation? I think it must be this. So we are now below the exit, before we, we were to the right of the exit. What does that mean? It means I have no clue. to escape, but, um, no. Have we, have we been up there? Okay, so now we are we are covering the green dot. We we must be very close to the uh, to the entrance. <laughs> or, or maybe not. quite a long way away from the entrance. We've moved into the block below. No. No, 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 no. Let us go through one of these doors. Yeah. That does nothing.
We just stabbed a ghost in the back. Imagine that the uh, the trapdoor will be a way out. Um, let's see where this goes then. dungeon. the trapdoor, the teleports take you back to the entrance, don't they? I think, I think they do. Let's try it. Let me save you the trouble. I thought ghosts were supposed to be able to just uh, hover through doors. <laughs> we, are, we are nowhere near the exit now. unless we keep teleporting. It's quite a well-decorated dungeon room. Somebody even made the bed. Teleports are a bit much. <laughs> it just never ends. Is this the uh, the teleport that kills you when you touch it? No. <laughs> what is happening? Well, let, let's breathe and walk. I do enjoy those things. It was a lot of work for a holy dagger, and it wasn't worth it. I 
<laughs> I'm confused now. What are we doing? Okay, we know that the exit is somewhere I wish these yellow 2x2 two two pixels were had a little tiny black outline. Yeah, this was a fool's errand. Which is uh, appropriate, given who was on it. But the, the, the exit is in, this, is in this middle block somewhere, and it's in the top left corner. Which means... By perverse coincidence, I think we've come to exactly where we needed to be. We need to go through these doors by the, the bit of wood. That's fortunate. And there, there he is. So if we had gone... Ah, uh, never mind, never mind. The important thing is that we learn something. Although I, I don't remember what it was. Uh, a tomb of Barragoth. Interesting. Now let's uh, let's go back and we're we supposed to go back. Ask me to test a ru a, a ruined bracelet. I should ask for compensation once I return. Oh, interesting. So we have to go back to a Rick Marquette. Wow. That's an interesting bench, isn't it? I wonder if if um, if the loading screen mod just displays random models, or or if somebody had to choose things to to display, and they decided, well, the bench would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, not really, no. It's quite dull. But uh, maybe maybe you just get random objects from uh, from Daggerfall source files. Anyway. Who is this person? Victauser Gerhaus. Um, tell me where is... There you go. The Mouse and Skull. That sounds familiar. Yeah, down here. So, all the way across town. Well, this will be a good a good chance to show off the the newest mod, uh, which is the uh, Uncanny Valley and and Kamer's Taverns mod. Where is it? Yeah. They decided that the taverns were quite dull and needed a bit of uh, sprucing up. So, let's go and find it. Yeah, as you can see, we have a nice little, nice little carpet here, and um, some apples. Let's see our lantern is still on. Crazy orc waitress, and some art. It was a little incongruous when the uh, the resolution of the art on the wall is higher than the actual wall. I wonder where this art came from. Yes, it is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, oh, you've got you've got loads of stuff back here. Towels and baskets. It's, it's, it's just like playing Oblivion now. Let's see what else he's got. Yep, potted ferns. 
The same picture again, only bigger. I think you've been to Ikea or something. Well, the, the rooms are much nicer now. <laughs> it's amazing just putting a little chest of drawers and a, a table with some things on it. Um, see, you, you're reading this important document. I think you are the, the person who gave me the ruined amulet, or the ruined amulet. Um, <laughs> I see, this is the bug where you only get one gold piece. Well, it's okay, I don't mind. Ah, and then the storeroom. Look, there's a... is that a door? Oh no, it's a chair. Spare chair, just in case the king comes to visit. Oh no, we don't want to... we don't want to look through the private property. <laughs> well, hello. Oh dear. I'm not going to do that because um, you're going to pay me one gold piece, so no. But it's a very nice room you have. This must be the expensive room. I wonder if this serves as your, um, your facility. And um, an enormous broom. Come in handy, I, I guess. Okay, so well, let's just quickly check out one more tavern. I wouldn't really leave the the broom by the front door. Ah, this is more like it. The stuff in the attic. Is this your fish, is it? Is that your lunch? You crazy jester. Excuse me, just being nosy. Somebody was selling a, a job lot of these, weren't they? Mmm. There's your dinner, not even a plate, just BAM on the desk. Desk? Table. Anyway. Cool. I guess in time, every single environment will be uh, overhauled like that. Although, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how much the, the house is. Well, maybe. I'll leave you to your flutage. So, what are we doing? I have no idea. Do we have any magic things to identify? Not really. Well, let's let's go shopping. When in doubt, or alternatively, let's let's see if the Mages Guild have any in interesting trinkets for us. Very early for them. Maybe we, maybe we even want to do a quest for them. The Mages Guild, yeah, they, we have lowest rep with them. So, wait a minute. <laughs> Recall. 
Anchor. Save the game. Buy magic items. Do you have anything interesting? Not really. No. So, a quest it is. It's been a while since we've worked for them. Let's go to the bottom where the interesting things are. We could try the Dark Artist, that sounds intriguing. Or possibly keep away. It seems like um, that one might take a while. Let's try the Dark Artist. I don't I don't remember that. Great scandals of the Mages Guild. Diddly do. We must stamp any cause for suspicion, diddly do. To conduct work of the foulest kind, dispose of this renegade. Okay. Make this rogue magician one with the death that so fascinates him. Fair enough. I, I did think it might have something to do with painting. <laughs> um. But it, it, it's, it's a different kind of art. The dark art. That makes sense. Grimway. Hmm. That's, that's some hay. So... I will imagine that the necromancer will be in the named residence. Which appears to be this. Yeah. Necromancers, where are you? looked in every closet. Have you seen any necromancers? Huh? Don't look, he's right behind me. Oh yes, there you are. Um, I see you have a skull medallion. Are you a necromancer? <laughs> we will have our jewel. Okay. Well, you see, you seem to have turned. <laughs> you seem to have turned into a lady mage and then into a dead body. Well, that's uh, certainly time efficient. Um. Well, hello. Sneaky, wasn't it? Um, don't worry about the mess. He's gone now. I guess uh, you can you can clean up. Where is the front door? Back to Rip Market.
Yeah, it's, it is a nice bench as benches go. I have no problem with it. But um, that is the third or fourth time we've seen it. Um, and I, I'm not. I'm not sure if uh, if I'd rather see that bench again or just a black screen. Ah, the far side of town again. This card is hayless. Big place, this. Anything cool for sale yet? No. One day, one day he'll be of use. Would a diamond be a proper reward for this task? No, not really, no. I would have preferred cold, hard cash. Um, what can we do now? Probably uh, have a cup of tea and then decide what to do next. Next. Yeah. 